I heard the first time. He said, we above all people that are upon the face of the earth. What does that mean? We, we got it. We got it? We got, so what about the other people? We got itself. We got itself. You can't walk away. I gotta go get a light, come right back. We got it. If, if you, huh? No, if, if you a god, right? If you a god, Tio, why you put poison in your body, God? Poison it. It's right here. That right there. Right that don't belong there. Get us poison. Man, poison. You find it in the Bible where it says yeah. where it says that you shouldn't be putting that in your body. Yeah. All right, I got you right now. That. Let me guess. Watch this. Watch this. You smoke it because like it's herb, huh? It's just like you eating an apple. Apples don't get me high, Tio. Right? Hey, because Tio, do an apple get you high? It don't get you high, but I'm coming. Right. We gonna have this conversation. That's Ago? That's about six cop cars, right? Let me ask you a question. Why are they here? Bring it out! I mean, not the specific. I don't know. I think because you guys are here. Huh. That's interesting. Do you, yeah. You say they're here because we're here. They don't know what's going on. They want to know what's going on. They knows it. They knows it? Huh. I don't live over here. I stay maybe 10 miles away from here. But Watch this. I'm just walking. Through. I want to show you something. Uh -huh. The officer was just tucking, touching on the, the priests and the pastors, what they're supposed to be doing, right? Why? Guess what God said? He ordained us to be the priests and the pastors. That's right. That's right. right? And he said, we shouldn't need another nation to be watching over us. Right? God said that we are the watchmen of God. That's right. We're supposed to be saying, hey, don't do that. Like you was bringing out earlier. Mm -hmm. Get them drugs up out of here. Right. You're not supposed to murder your brother. Right. Look what God says. Come on. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 17. Read. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. I'm sorry. Give me verse 11 first. Watch this. Verse 11. Uh -huh. And go, get thee to them of the captivity. That's why we're set up here in McDougal Terrace. We understand who the captives are. We are the captives that's here in Babylon the Great. Right. He said, go to them, read, unto the children of thy people. To who? Of thy people. He said, go to the children of thy people. That's right. And do what? Now give me verse 16. Come on. Verse 16. Uh -huh. Verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman read. unto the house of Israel. Unto the children of thy people. Right. We are the only nation in the earth that has another nation watching over us. Bring it out. Right. That ain't supposed to be like that. Right. Especially when you know who you are. Right. Read. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. Come on. And give them warning. And do what? And give them warning. Because when the cops come out here, they coming out here to clean up. Bring it they out. They ain't coming out here to give warning. <laughs> Bring We're here. It out. What's the word? We're productive. We're not reactive. Right. We're coming here to get rid of the crime. We're coming here to shut it down right. according to God. Read. Right. And give them warning from me. Come on. When I say unto the wicked, uh -huh. thou shalt surely die. What kind of warning are we giving them? Bring it out. Thou shalt surely die. Bring so it out. we ain't here to tell people, oh, you're going to get locked up. Oh, you might get sick. God said, you shall surely die. That's right. Why would that be a warning from God? Why do you think that'd be a warning from God? Why would it be a warning from God? Yes. Um, Give me the wages to sin. I guess because the world, men, uh huh. They're easily enticed to other things. Okay. So he warns them. Okay. Let me show you something. That's you, what's, that's what's coming to mind, right? Yeah. I got you. But I got I gotta show you what the Bible says. You know this verse. That's why we're here. That's, that's why we're right. here to teach our people. Right. And that's fine, that's you know, right. verse. I'm not trying to lift myself up above you. Right. It's my job to show you love according to the Bible. That's right? right. Watch what God says. Come on. The book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 23. Bring it out. For the wages of sin is death. That's why he's warning them. That's why he sent the prophets to warn them. Right. Now my question is, isn't the judgment for all men death? Bring it out. You're going to die, right? Yeah. I'm going to die. Ain't nothing we can do about that. Right. So what kind of death is he talking about? Bring it out. That's 
that's the question we should be asking. Matthew 10, what kind of death is he talking about? He ain't talking about your flesh death. He talking about what's gonna happen to your spirit. Right. He said, give them warning, I'm telling you now. I done flooded the earth. I done got all the people back, but you better warn them because I'm gonna kill they spirits. That's right. God ain't talking to a carnal man. Right. He heard once to warn them about that, even though there's benefits. Even though it's benefits to marriage. Even though it's benefits to keeping his commandments. The ultimate benefit is the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Eternal life. Right. But he said, don't worry about this. Come on, read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 28. Uh -huh. Get out. And fear not them which kill the body, uh -huh. but are not able to kill the soul. He said, don't worry about man. Do what I'm telling you to do. Because right. guess what? What we tell our people to do according to the Bible is strange to everybody. That's why you're the only one standing here. Right. We have a bunch of nutcases to them right now. Right. And they'll sit on the steps and won't walk over. They'll look through the window and won't walk Bring over it. because it they're out. worrying about man. Read it again. And fear not them uh -huh. which kill the body, Come on. but are not able to kill the soul. Read. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. In hell, in captivity. Right. Directly after this, your spirit is either gonna be living in one or two places. Bring it out. Either in the lake of fire or in out. the kingdom of heaven. Right. But God said, why are you here? Go back to Ezekiel. He said, why are you here? You men who keep my commandments who understand the Bible, go out and warn them from me. Right. He said, because I don't care what you think. Remember when people say that all the time? He's what do they say all the time? Oh, he knows my heart. Right. We don't understand God really do. Bring it out. We are wicked ass people, man. Right. 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 And our minds is jacked up. Right. He sent the prophets to do this. Come on. Teach up. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman Come on. unto the house of Israel. Read. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth uh -huh. and give them warning from me. So we're not here to warn them because of what we think. Right. We're here to warn them because God told us to. That's the difference. Everything you see us men standing in purple do, we do it because God told us to. Right. Us talking to you right now, God told us to. The reason right. you're standing here, God sent you here. That's us people right. don't understand that. Hold that. Give me Jeremiah 1 and verse 7. Watch this. Give me five and then jump to verse seven. Watch Bring this. It out. A lot of times we like to think it's, what's the word they use? Coincidental. That's it. It's That's a coincidence. It. Bring it oh, out. oh, I just happened to turn down this block. Right. Oh, I don't know what made me walk over here. God made you do it. That's this is right. your warning from the Lord. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter one and verse five. This Bring scripture is twofold. It ain't just talking about me. It's talking about you. That's Read. Right. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. God said, before you came forth, he knew you was ordained. He knew you was an Israelite. That's he right. knew that before you did. Read. And before thou camest forth uh -huh. out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Uh -huh. And I ordained thee a prophet uh -huh. unto the nation. Until wherever our people are scattered, he said, I ordained you a prophet. Give me verse 7. Verse 7. Uh -huh. But the Lord said unto me, Come on. Say not, I am a child. Read. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. Hold on. How are we going to go to all that he sends? We come out into the streets. What's going on, my brother? What's your name? P. P? Yeah. My name is Menahem. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Find you. I am there. You all right? You know you're a Jew? I know you, you think you're African American, right? Yeah. Watch this. Look what God said. He said, Go, read it again, verse 7. But the Lord said unto me, uh -huh. Say not, I am a child. So God said, Don't worry that you're young or you're old and you're new to what this is. What does he say? Read. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. So we already know the Bible says go out into the corners, into the highways and hedges, and compel my people to come in. The rest of it is God. That's he right. said all that I will send thee. We didn't make you come over here, did we? 
We said, hey, come on over and listen, but you took those steps yourself. That's the same right. thing for you. He said, all that I shall send thee. We don't know who we gonna talk to. Bring we just out. know where our people is. That's and we right. don't gotta come out here and give them this. Now give me uh, Leviticus 19. Because what is love? Let me ask y'all a question. What's love, Pete? What's love? You love your parents? Yeah, I love my parents. Okay, well, how do you love them? I love them. I do anything for them. I, don't know I, say. I like that. I, like, I wish somebody to be loyal to me and love them. Say that again? I wish somebody to be loyal. You yeah. would rather someone to be loyal. Yeah. I don't really like that love. Love somebody to stab me in your back. You know why you feel that way? I'm gonna show you that love in the Bible. Bring it, it is loyalty. Right. It is loyalty, That's but right. worldly love is that sensual stuff. Bring it out. It's that sense. You ever seen in movies, there's a man who be beating on his wife? Don't he always tell her he love her? Bring and it out. punch her right in her damn mouth? Right. Is that love? So what's the difference? One is words, mouth service, and the other one is actions. Right. God's love is actions. That's Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Right, you got it? Uh, first John, come on. The book of First John, chapter so five and verse three. Uh -huh. But this is the love of God. So it ain't what you think or what I think. Right. It ain't emotions. The Bible's gonna say exactly what love is. Come on. For this is the love of God uh -huh. that we keep His commandments, uh -huh. and His commandments are not grievous. Grievous means hard to do. He said, "Keep my commands." Let me ask you a question. If you rule something, how many suggestions you given? None. I rule. I'm going to tell you what to do. That's I'm going right. to command you what to do. Right. You said you believe in that? Let me, ask, let, me, let me ask you a question. That's what I'm talking about. I want to know. I want to know what's the profit in it. I want, me personally, because I used to do the same thing. And you know what I realized? I waste money in time. Bring right. it out. That's, That's right. what I waste. Read this again. The book of First John, chapter 5 and verse 3. Uh -huh. For this is the love of God, Come on. that we keep his commandments. Read. And his commandments are not grievous. It said they're not hard to do. You want to know the commandment that we're doing right now that's not hard? Give me Leviticus. Watch this. Because we don't come out here for vain glory. We're not out here to get numbers. We out here to get our people to repent. That's right. We out here to show our people love according to the Bible. That's well, come right. on. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Say that one more time. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Hey, Pete, did you hear that? There we go, some honesty. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You have brothers? I get what you're saying, your homeboys. Mm -hmm. Your so-called friends. You know what the Bible says your brothers are? Bring it out! Bring it out. Oh, we gotta show it. I gotta show it. I don't wanna, I don't want it to be my words, P. Wake I don't want up. it to be my words. Let's hear what the Bible say. Read it again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So it says brother, and then it said neighbor. Both words are interchangeable. Watch this. And not suffer sin upon him. Wait, wait, wait. And not what? And not suffer sin upon him. That's the same thing we read earlier. Come out here and give y'all warning. Give y'all warning. The reason we in these conditions is because we do not listen to God. Right. And the first thing we want to do is blame the so-called white man. God ain't never been dealing with them. Right? He's dealing with us and you can tell because of our conditions. Think about it. Salvation has to come from the people who are who need to be saved. Yes, right? They live good. They don't need salvation. Watch this. Read on. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against thee. You about to miss it. This is who your brother is. Come on. 
Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So your brother, your neighbor is the children of thy people. Meaning that dude, your op, the dude you got a problem with, God said that's your brother. Right? right. And we gotta love each other. Just think about it. If we apply that one law, that one law in our neighborhoods, right here in McDougal Terrace, what would the murder rate look like? You ever seen statistics on something that don't exist? T.O. T.O.? Yeah. I'm John. Yeah. What's going on? What's up, gang? How are you? What you say your name was? T.O. T.O. My name is Menahem. What up, Menahem? I like... Man, why, why brothers in the truth can't get my name right? That's what the head hit on the head. You all right. So, my question I have for you, I want to read this scripture, okay. and then we're going to talk. That's cool? That's what I'm talking about. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, and verse 16. 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. It said we can't hate each other in our mind, but our job is to rebuke him. You got a sister? Yeah, I got a sister. If a man was beating on your sister, what you gonna do? Yeah, I know the laugh. You gonna handle your business, right? God said, we gotta handle our business with each other. That's right. right. He said, if That's I see right. you doing wrong, it's my job to be like, hey bro, you shouldn't be doing that. That's not how you're supposed to be conducting yourself. Right. Not according to my thoughts, not according to your thoughts, but according to what God says is That's right or wrong. Right. That's right. What God says is right or wrong. Watch That's this, right. come on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor uh -huh. and not suffer sin upon him. You believe in the Bible, the Bible, T.O.? Yeah. You do? So what's sin according to the Bible? Yeah, I guess it's in the Ten Commandments. That's going against those? Going against those. That's fire. You on point. He on point. Let's show it. Let's show him. The Ten Commandments is... I'm going to use this example. You ever open a book and it got chapters? Yeah. That's what the Ten Commandments is. T Ten Commandments is like the beginning of a chapter. And inside that chapter, it gives you all the other commandments and all the other laws pertaining to that one commandment. So you was right. You hit it on the head. Come on, read that. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Come on. Whosoever commit a sin. What's the topic? Sin. Uh-huh. Transgressive also the law. The word transgress means to go against the laws, go against the commandments. So you were right. Read on. For sin is the transgression of the law. Now go back to Leviticus. So it's our job as men of God to make sure that we give y'all a warning like I was telling my man earlier. That's why we come out here. Think about it. We can go to all the safe places. <laughs> but we ain't in the safe places. Bring it out. <laughs> because our level of love for our people is different. That's right. right. We understand the danger because we all came out of it. That's right. right. We all from the hood. I'm going to tell you right now. Every single brother you see standing over here, we all came from the ghetto. We Bring all came from the slums. That's we right. all done love lost loved ones. Bring it, it out. Happens. Watch this. But look what God told us. Come on. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. We must give correction because that is how we show each other love. That's how we show each other love. Read on. And not suffer sin upon him. Come on. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Meaning I shouldn't be hating you. That's not my job. My job not to have hatred. My job ain't supposed to be having no ops because he's selling drugs on this side or he went to school together. We got to talk like all that BS. God said we ain't supposed to be moving like that. And that's not for everybody. You know how it's not for everybody? Why are we the number one's kid? killing each other. We the number ones that got, uh, uh, the abortion rate is sky high. Bring right. it out. STDs is sky high. Right. All that sky high because we don't show each other love. That's right. Tio, what's your nationality? What's your nationality, Pete? Who are you according to God? Bring it out. Person, I'm a black man. A black man. Can we find that in the Bible? So can I show you who you are in the Bible? That's what I'm talking about. Give me the line. Because guess what? You work. 
And at your job, you have a requirement, right? I know when I go and I clock in, I have this to do, I got that to do, I gotta do it for this amount of time, then I go to the next task, and then I go clock out. Guess what? Once you find out who you are, God has requirements for us. That's right. He got requirements for us. Right. Before I found out who I was, T O and P, let me tell y'all, I ain't give two dams about nothing. Bring it out. I walked around blind, not caring, only concerned about self. But then I found this out. Give me seven and six first. Watch this. Watch this, because we understand, guess what? We ain't just talking to y'all. We know the speakers bouncing over these buildings. We That's know there's people right. who ain't gonna walk over here. We know there's other people listening. Come on, read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. it out. For thou art an holy people. Wait, 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 what did God say? For thou art an holy people. T.O., you think he talking to everybody? Yeah. You said, yeah? Let's let's see. He said, thou art in the holy people. Come on. Unto the Lord thy God. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. He said, these people that I'm talking to, I chose y'all to be special. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. P, you, you missed it, P. I knew you missed it. You looked away for a second. It's all right. We're going to read it one more time. Come on. Above of all people that are upon the face of the earth. You heard that, T.O.? Yeah, I heard it the first time. He said, we are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. What does that mean? We, we got it. We got it? We got, so what about the other people? We got itself. We got itself. So you can't walk away. I got to go get a light. Come right back. We got it. If, if you, huh? No, if, if you a God, right? If you a God, T.O., why you put poison in your body, God? Poison it. That right there. That don't belong there. Yeah, that's poison. Poison. You find it in the Bible where it says where it says that you shouldn't be putting that in your body. Yeah. All right, I got you right now. That. Let me guess. Watch this. Watch this. You smoke it because like it's herb, huh? It's just like you eating an apple. Apples don't get me high, T.O. Right? Hey, T.O., do an apple get you high? It don't get you high, but I'm coming back. We're going to have this conversation. That's what I'm talking about. Listen to this. Why you go? Come on. I'm this. You know what I want? 14. First Corinthians. Psalms 104. Let me get that one, sir. Watch this. We out here to show our people love because we understand that we walking around sleep, man. We get it because we don't see the cause and the effect of the things that we do. We think it's hurting self. I used to be like that, man. I quit. Guess what? You think I was joking? I used to be like that. We all used to be like that. There's some of us who did worse drugs than we. Right. God said, you special. God can't tell me I'm special. I keep killing myself, man. Right. That don't make no sense to me. The minute I found out, guess what? I had to leave it alone. Right. I had to leave it alone. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 104, verse 14. Come on. Because of the grass to grow for the cattle uh -huh. and earth for the service of man. Read. That he may bring forth food out of the earth. So hey. the herb was made for Food. That's your food for thought. Let me tell you what it's doing to your thought. Yeah. Give me sober. Give me Titus. Two and six. Watch this. My brother. Huh? He's spitting the verses out. Hey, you, you know why I could do that? Because I'm sober minded. That's right. That's right. You get what I'm saying? My mind is different. Hey, I'll be at work, right? I do dispatching. They're like, hey, Israel, whose address is this? I don't know. How about this address? And I don't know. You know why? I'm filling my mind with the word of the Lord. Right. right. I make sure these precepts stay in there because I have to come out here to teach y'all. I can't put addresses and locations and all that in there. I don't care about that. Right. I care about saving my people. That's right. That's what I came out here for. Read that. The book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 6. Uh -huh. Young men. Who? Young men. Who? Young men. See, I was talking to you. Come on. Young men. Uh -huh. Likewise, exhort to be sober minded. To be how? Sober minded. Now let's get 1 Corinthians. The Bible is telling us. Because guess what? Jesus' first miracle, he did what? He turned water into. Into what? Into wine. Did he drink it? He served it. Why you don't think he drank it, Tio? He served it. Man. I, 
and you're right, it was given out at that feast. But my question is, why do you think he didn't drink it? He wanted to be sober. Mm. Let me ask you a question. Make it the reason, the reason why I ask these questions is to get the mind going. I, I listen, bro. I, I, I believe in God. I teach my, I take my kids to church, I do all that. You know what church? Well, we, 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 we hopping around right now. Okay. Like, Easter, we just try a new one. So okay. Last yep. weekend, they went with their grandma. But this weekend, my girl lost, so we might hop on another. Okay. But what I'm saying is... Yeah, I do I, want to I, hear your question. Yeah, your question? yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't nothing about the Bible. It's just about life. Okay. We can, we can come out here and spit this word. See the youngsters all day. Uh-huh. It's past hating your brother right now. Okay, talk Cause to they ain't you. love, you ain't nobody loving each other no more. Ain't family ain't the same, ain't nothing the same. You gotta doubt with the time. Mm. It's hard to get to the youngsters. Like my son, my son. Mm -hmm. How old is he? He just turned 12. Okay. 11, 11. Uh -huh. But it's hard to get him the list. Mm. And that's the offspring. I got so, you. It's hard, brother. I, I'm watching these kids. I'm tying them up when they get shot. Right. Calling the ambulance. I got you. I'm making sure they don't bleed out of here. I got you. And if to be here, if I can protect them, I'm going to protect them from there. But it's just different these days. It's oh, just, yeah. We, we, need, we need the word, ah. but we need the unity. Ah. See, like, right now, on Yo, listen, they beating the block down right now. Right. Like us. Who's doing it? The police. I see. Them. They beating the block down. See, okay. It, it, just have a look communication while y'all beating us down. Right. Want to jump out on us today? Want to with us when somebody came over here to f with us from the beginning? I got you. You get can what I'm saying? Can I show you I, why they on our list? Wait a minute. I tell my son, uh, we dog. Yeah. Get the gun the right way. Blah, say, blah. But how I'm telling my son this, he can have a kid argument with a boy the same age, level right. 12, and he can whip out on him. Right. Like, what, what's the answer now? Got you. The, uh, the you, Bible good. I'm into that. You want physical answers. Need you need some change. I need some change. Guess what? Well, this right here, gonna, we're going to listen to this word right now, but it's going to be forgotten soon as you leave. Man, we're listen. Back to it. T.O., you hit him. You here, you saying some stuff. I ain't gonna hold you up. You saying some stuff. But let me tell you something. The guy we serve according to the Bible, he ain't moving like that. That's right. I'm gonna tell you. Watch this. Watch this. Now I gotta show you. I gotta show you the things that you was just touching on. It's scriptural. It is. Give me um say, First Corinthians 6. Or is it 2 Corinthians 6? Separate. Oh, yes, sir. 2 yes, sir. Corinthians 6, 18, yes. 17. Yes, Watch this. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me, my brother. Hey, listen. What we need to do as black men, see, I it's think coming clear. together, right? But listen, because these kids don't even got nothing to do. Peter, you want me to see my son to the park? And we got a, a memorial. We right. picked flowers at a little boy that right. got killed by them. Right. We are learning more about the 16 year old killed in one of three shootings in Durham last night. So far, police have one suspect in custody and are searching for others. The shootings all happened within two hours of each other. That 16 year old was killed on Truman Street. Three more people were shot on Fayetteville Street, and a fifth person was shot downtown on Pettigrew Street. Yeah, Gerald, the mother of that 16-year-old tells me his name was Cassidy Johnson and he was a twin. His brother was shot in the leg on that same street about a week ago and is recovering. That mom tells me this is the second time Cassidy had been shot. He was good. He was a good son. He was a good brother to his brother. He LaToya Edwards has four sons, including twin 16-year-olds. She's lived at McDougal Terrace for just over a year. Edwards tells me yesterday afternoon, a man came by shooting and her son Cassidy was hit running away. My baby was shot in his chest. They had to open my baby up to jumpstart his up. We know how that feel. They cut on my baby. She says Cassidy was a smart and respectful ninth grade student at Hillside High School. I shouldn't have to be with my son. Mayor Leonardo Williams says it's personal. The commonality here is the fact that these are mostly young black boys under the age of 20. 
Cassidy wasn't the only teenager shot on Thursday. Three people, including a minor, showed up at the hospital with gunshot wounds related to an incident on Fayetteville Street and Linwood Avenue. All of them had non-life-threatening injuries. I don't feel comfortable in my family. I got you. You get what I'm saying? We yes, need a team. Ouch. We need to sit down, knock on doors, and write down what we done. So like nobody getting that. Done. I got you. It has to have a foundation, though, T.O. It got to have a foundation. Watch this. Come on, read that. The book of 2 Corinthians. What's that? What's that? They don't do nothing for the kids now. No, no, no. no. When I was little? It was different back then. Yeah, the, the world is now growing in darkness. It's getting worse and worse, just like you were saying, right? But guess what? God will and has given solutions. He has. We're not just out here to talk. I'm going to tell you now. We have all the things that God has set up. Watch this. Come on, read that. 2 Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 17. Where, Tio, hear me out. Come on. Wherefore, come out from among them. And be ye separate. What did God say for us to do? Come out from among them and be ye separate. Uh -huh. Say of the Lord. Read. Touch and touch not the unclean thing. So what happens in that statement? He said, come out from among them. We understand because we live in the hood. You can't just up and leave and go into suburbia. We can't do that. So how does he expect us to come out from among them? Watch this. Give me uh, Romans 12. It's a mindset. I'm telling you that's where it starts. And you know that's where it starts. Because you said your son is 12. Wow. It says that why you got one You got one in 16. I know it's harder for him. No, that's it. It's a 12 year old. You said what? It's a 12 year old for me. It's a tw okay, I got you. Watch this. Even watch him, this. He know better. Watch yeah, this. Come on, read. The book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 2. Uh -huh. And be not conformed to this world. To what? And be not conformed to this world. This is over 2,000 years ago this was written. Right? He ain't talking about then. World in this aspect means time. Don't be conformed to the times of right now. Read. But be ye transformed uh -huh. by the renewing of your mind. Because once our mind changes, our conditions change. Let me finish making my point and we're going to get right back to you. Read on. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Come on. For I say, through the grace given unto me, watch this, because once your mind changes, your environment has to change. Your environment has to change. We can't think about it. There's very few of our people who change their mindset in the hood and make it out. Very few. Watch this. Come on. The book of Zephaniah. Chapter 2 and verse 1. Look what God says. Come on. Gather yourselves together. Do what? Gather yourselves together. But when he says that, this ain't what he talking about. This ain't what he talking about. All my brothers here, we leave this, and guess what we do? We go around each other because our mindset is the same. I ain't got to worry about my brother trying to lay with my wife. That's right. Because God said, don't do that. I don't got to worry about my brother pulling a gun on my child because God said don't do that. What did he say to do? Read it again. Gather yourselves together. Uh -huh. Yeah, gather together. Oh, nation, not desire. That's how you know he ain't talking to everybody. He's talking to the people who live in the hood. We're the ones who's not desired, T.O. Uh -huh. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time. Oh, no!